why you said the two way. Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everybody. Wow. So, interchanging a bunch of stuff, getting here, getting everything going. Um, you know, I gotta say, car jacks, to go ahead and get out of this all set up, I'm gonna have to buy another one because I don't know what happened, why those, you're supposed to be able to slide the jack in, and for some reason, one of them is bent in, and I can't imagine what I hit that would have caused that sucker to bend. I just, I don't get it. So, <clears throat> using the car jack today, might just go to Harbor Freight and pick up another one and just say that's just what it's going to be. But anyway, uh, we got this all disconnected. We got the forks. We moved our pallet of cubes that we've got. And then switched back. And the whole Euro connection, if you're looking at getting a tractor, I got to admit, you know, I kind of was skeptical a little bit at first, but that Euro connect that they have with the John Deere, seriously, you can just pull it once, pop it disconnect go over and it automatically just will re-snap in I mean it's it's actually really kind of nice so anyway today <clears throat> we're gonna finish up cleaning some of that two and a half acres we started last time with my brother um, we actually got a new toy to help with that so um, I'll have to share that with you but we're gonna finish cleaning up this two and a half acres so that's what's going on with Black Acre Ranch and then I will show you my toy In the previous episodes, my brother was here with his family and we were cleaning out the fallen trees from the mulching out in that two and a half acres, okay? And one thing that I've noticed whenever I use the chainsaw that we've got is that it's a farm boss. It's an MS-271 steel. It's this puppy, 20 inch bar. Um, it's a beast of a saw. It does most everything that I would ever want to do. And if I'm trying to go ahead and take out anything that's bigger than what this 20 inch bar is gonna do, I probably shouldn't be the one taking it out. Anyway, but it's heavy, okay? It's over 12 pounds, I think, and that's probably before you put all the fluid and stuff in it. Anyway, so when you take down a tree and you gotta delimit, gosh, it kinda sucks, you know? It's just like heavy, anyway. So it gets tiring wielding that thing. And much like trucks, every man needs two, because just in case one gets stuck. So chainsaws are no different. So just like chainsaws and trucks, every man needs two chainsaws. So I got myself an MS-171. And this is just a 16 inch bar. Of course it's brand new. Um, but it's set up very much the exact same configuration of the 271. So I've got this. So as the story goes, I go into steel to go over and get a tool, the little key, the chuck, because for some reason the ones that we have we couldn't find and when my brother Aaron was chainsawing, the chain came off. So I was like, alright, let's go buy one of those. Well, it's like Black Friday, they got a, a deals and they're like, hey, 15% off any of these things. So I was sent in alone, my wife and kids stayed in the car and so I come out with a chainsaw, gas, um, two keys now, those probe thingy, whatever you call them, um, a new chain, a chain sharpener. Anyway, you send a guy in, he's gonna come out with stuff, especially when it's on sale, but now we can be a little bit more efficient. So the reason we did this was, this will delim 
all those branches, but cutting up main trunks and taking down trees, I'm going to use the steel 271. So it's good to have some good chainsaws. Um, I don't use mine all that much. Um, there's a lot of debate about Husqvarna or steel. I like steel. They just seem to be in, in more readily supply availability around here. So I'm not a huge proponent of one or the other. Cars and trucks, now that's different, but chainsaw. So we're gonna be doing this clear out. We're gonna hook up the trailer. We're gonna get all those taken out and um, saw it up. So we've got some visitors here with us today. We'll get cracking on that, but first we gotta get these buffalo, their cubes. They seem to be a little anxious and uh, they're waiting for us. So we'll go ahead and get them their cubes. So join us with that and then we'll get over to the, the land clearing. Everyone's waiting for some cubes. I would get in the trough. <laughs> Put it down. Yep, you just walk back and drag it. Pour it all, the whole bag. They just like to shift a lot, you know? So one gets kicked out of one spot, goes over another, kicks out the weak one there, and then that one goes over somewhere else and just kicks somebody else out. And it's that whole song and dance. Oh, hi, Rose. Mary. There is a height disparity here. Isn't there? <laughs> you know, yeah. we're really working. There's a hill. You should stand up on the. <laughs> stand where other greens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 taller. So it's there, there you go. Oh, there there you go. go. All right. Well, we had to get him. We had to get him taller. So these are the dudes. They came back. The last time the guys were here, they were helping us do barbed wire fencing. So if you guys are game for that. That's future. That's future. That's if you really want. So, anyway, we didn't lose anybody yet. Yeah. So, anyway, parents, <laughs> these are the elders. So, your elder Williams, Robertson, Gray, Johnston. All right. So, these are the four that we've got. Same kind of questions. Who's got a girlfriend? Total nobody, bite. Nobody Who started with a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, so, she ditched you or you ditched her? It was kind of a mutual thing. Yeah. 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 All right. That's what, they all say. <laughs> That's what they all say. How long have you guys been out? Four months? Five months? Geez, that was fast was already. <laughs> I know. Wow. All right. Out 17. 17. 11. And about four. Four. Okay. Eight so months. his name tag is different. So he's going to where? So I'm going to serve in the Bulgaria Central Eurasia mission speaking Turkish. Turkish. All right. So he will never come home. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this you. This is the last we'll ever see of him. So I think you had a, a visa issue, right? 
Me? Yeah, so you Oh, couldn't... I'm leaving on Thursday. Right. So now you're going to get, you were just temporarily here yeah. until you got the visa or whatever else was going on. So Gray, where are you going? I'm supposed to go to Brazil. Brazil. Still waiting for visa. Still waiting. May never get there. And then you guys are actual legit called mm -hmm. me? No, no, I'm not. I was originally I supposed to go to Singapore and Malaysia. All right. But I'm getting kind of close to the end and still haven't heard anything. All right. So. I was supposed to be here. I <laughs> love it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just moving this pile of wood onto a trailer and we're just hauling it out of here so we can start getting everything fenced and get the bulls over here. So that's our objective today. All right, elders, let's get cracking. Sweet. Oh, it's possible. <laughs> is it? Do you see all these missionary moments you're gonna have today? That's right. It's pretty big though. We can probably chop that sucker in half. I moved it that much by myself. Oh, now we have the, uh, the proxy elder working with us. Alright guys, I'm going to kind of narrate this oh. while they're working here. These, uh, these guys have been a big help. So this was a couple of days ago. They didn't have the option though. We could cut that, but uh, I figure maybe we'll just cut it now. Anyway, like all boys and men, they want to show off and uh, they're doing a good job. But I really want to showcase this baby chainsaw, she called it. So I'm going to be showing a bunch of footage here, um, mostly of this chainsaw working, and uh, kind of my thoughts of it, kind of give you some of my commentary as we've been going along through this, and see how it goes. In the meantime, we'll see them struggle and, and pull everything out, of course. So I didn't want to have to cut up two small pieces. The objective was to just get it on the trailer. And... I'm cool with a piece that big. I'll cut it up later, but I just want to get it out of the pasture so we can get everything going. I got mine! Yeah. Yeah, Tiffany, we're so proud! So this is a two and a half acre pasture on the east side of the compound, and this is what we cleared out about a year and a half ago, a year ago. This is where our bulls are going to go. If you guys remember a couple episodes ago, my brother Aaron was around. He was also clearing trees, and this is one that was left over. You guys grab this big one? Seven, it was crazy. Oh. I was like, oh, it's five years, so we don't kill you. <laughs> so this little chainsaw is actually really handy, and it's really, the reason I got this was because of the weight of the 271, the farm boss. Doing all this trimming, you don't need a 20-inch bar and you don't need a 12 and a half pound chainsaw. So I've been looking for something that was smaller and I've been debating whether or not I should get battery operated, um, something that was super small with like a 12 inch bar. Um, frankly, it really just came down to cost. You know, I mean, I picked this thing up for around two, oh, actually it was $180. And the electric chainsaw that I was looking at wasn't anywhere close to that. Um, and even the small steels were more expensive, still pushing 300. So, really, it just it was something I wanted that was light, and this has actually been doing a pretty good job. <laughs> for all you parents here, we didn't we didn't ask for your kids to come out and just put them as slave labor, but. I'll tell you what, it's nice to have them out there. Um, other people did do work. Everybody in this channel, you guys see my kids all Grant, the time. you survived that one? You look yeah. like you were struggling there for a minute. How did the hoovie end? <laughs> all right, so they, uh, they're <laughs> contemplating what to do with this one. Something. Now we're down to the trunk. They just don't let it kill me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it while you're There you go. What side do you want? Are we lifting it? Are we lifting yeah. it? You're rolling it, Elder. Um, you got another oh, one yeah. friend with it. My bad. I forgot oh, the bar. <laughs> what the heck? This trunk is only about 10 inches oh, in diameter, but it's a stout awesome. tree. tree hugger. <laughs> I was actually surprised how dense it was. Just tire flips. Hey, hey, you guys thought you didn't get enough time in the gym. We got gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <help. laughs> He's like my gloves, my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, keep it going. 
Oh, oh, Robertson's so oh, willing to engage. <laughs> and Gray's gonna get this one, right? No, he's not. <laughs> What's that, Daddy? Daddy? You lift with your legs. With your legs. Oh, yeah, yeah, Johnson, show us. Yeah. <laughs> good rotate, good rotate, Elvis. Pivot. Coming for you, Williams. Alright, so you stand it up next to this and then whip. So I'm leaving this part in here, seeing these guys struggle, just so you get a comprehension about how heavy this tree is and uh, our methods. Besides, it's humorous to see this all happen and see the progress. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? And we don't always think things through, obviously, but we'll make it. I know. I'm trying to get this in. Hold on. Ooh, wow. So for anybody new to the channel, behind everybody there is my wood pile pit. And in the way back is some oaks and some other things when we originally mulched. And I've been just building slowly a pile of trees. I found a really beautiful ride right out. <laughs> My goal eventually is to go through and actually make some firewood out of all this, you know, when I get time and the energy. Um, and then all these small branches just burn them. So I'm going to have a massive burn pile eventually, but we're not there yet. Okay, just swing the end in and we're good. I see one man doing that job. Don't worry, Grant, there's no potential for you in the future. Put your down and I'll <laughs> Well he did exactly what I said, put it down. <laughs> Alright, so back to number tree number two. And this is just the epitome of kids that are 18, 19 just being dudes, right? I don't know what, they just came up with this on their own. I think Williams is the uh, instigator here. You don't hold it hard enough. There you go, Gray. Kick it! If it was this, I could like punch it. Punch it! No, it's not. Hold it up, I'll kick it, I'll kick it. This is where you find out if he was real, right? <laughs> so Williams here busts out some serious moves and starts going at it and he doesn't show it we don't have it on video but he actually cut his glove open and cut his hand so you'll learn but hey he did good alright right. tree number two alright now this tree is huge and uh, I guess I should at some point mention I have a grapple for the tractor and uh I could have busted it out, <laughs> but I didn't. And uh, I didn't think on. these things would honestly be that heavy or take that long. But uh, gosh, this guy's heavy. I moved the whole thing with the tractor before, just as one big tree, just push it to the side. Come on, guys. You can do it. There you go. But I didn't think I'd be taking this tree out a year later. So all the grass, of course, has grown up, and now it's all just a pain to deal with. But back to this chainsaw. This chainsaw is actually really nice. I got it instead of a 170 version because this really does match the same layout and everything of my current 271. This is a newer technology compared to the 170 from reviews. This doesn't have as much power as the 170 does. But... Uh, you know, for the stuff I'm using it for, it's not going to really make that much difference. I don't need tons and tons of power here. Did 
job, Johnston. Woo! So coming up here, I'm going to be actually cutting the main trunk one last time. And uh, I think it's just one more time. Because as you can see, this sucker is just big and, and heavy. I'm not a good tree person identifier. I don't even know what kind of tree this is. I'd say a sweet gum. But it's actually a really heavy. And so right here with this size of a tree, I'd probably bust out the 271, the farm boss. But I wanted to see what this could do. This is probably over 12 inches through, or just about that 12 inch mark, which is getting closer to the, the bar length here. But it powered through, it can bog down on you. So you gotta just kinda watch that. Don't push it too hard. Now I'm sure it's much more manageable. All right. But it went so through it. You got it. I'm sure, uh, well. I don't know. <laughs> One third is heavy. They're, they're feeling well, less. The right, well, the ants. Ants. well, I mean, it's, it's... Wouldn't it be half? Well, it's, oh. it's like a third. I think another third would be here. No, it's two fifths. That's, yeah. Well, I don't think anybody actually wants to lift any of these things because the trunk is way bigger than the actual previous ones we've done. Oh, Robert can move it. Yeah, I mean, come on. Oh, oh, that's some... That's shady. That's pretty shady. Uh, that's it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You don't even appreciate his support. We're grateful for Robertson. Oh, He's a good job. dude. Alright, now for the big one. Alright, right, now we can lift that side up and lift. Oh, no. Are we rolling? Yeah. Oh, it's way lighter. Oh, 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 just drop it if you have to. Just right here. Need. There's a log behind you. Just know that. Just don't drop it on the trailer. Let's try and set it on the trailer. Or, uh, set. Don't drop it on us. No, Greg, you, you don't matter. You can hit Johnson. Yeah, you don't matter. You can heal up before you yeah, leave for your... Cool. And then the rotator. It's about this time I really did want the grapple. What? <laughs> she said. Oh. Which one are you lifting up? No, I would lift this side up. Towards me. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. we hit the truck? Yeah, so just don't. <laughs> gotta go up and over the truck. Yeah. I love yeah. Johnston's yeah, look. Come on, Grant. Up and over. <laughs> come on. He's probably thinking you're crazy. Bring it to Williams. Oh, a Williams is bringing it to another Williams. And the rest of us are just staring at it. Watch your hands. Watch yeah. the truck. Aw, oh, support. Good job, baby. Okay. Sam, leave it to the little boys. Sam's holding me like the Okay, and then it's. Hey, now you guys look yeah. at your end. Yes. All the teamwork. Aw, oh, good job, guys. There. That's all we need to get good. out. Oh, Roll it out. I think we're stuck now. We got it. We just have to ah. unload it. That's always the best part. Watch your toes. If you want to grab the top one. <laughs> so while we're unloading this, I actually kind of just wanted to make time to mention. I'm actually kind of not joking when I say that every person needs two chainsaws. When you're doing this chainsaw, you can actually come across a point where you get it bound in a tree or things of that nature, where you just can't. <laughs> you just can't get it out, right? So you gotta have wedges, there's different approaches to getting it out, but um, a second chainsaw can really be handy. And just in case of emergencies or times when you just gotta get your other one free. The other approach you can take is to have a second bar for your chainsaw. So for instance, if I had the farm boss, I would have a second bar with a chain on it ready to go and I can actually just take it the power unit off the bar that's stuck, put on it on the new one, and make the cuts that I need. So, if you're really in an instance where you gotta decide do you want another chain saw, sometimes maybe you can just get a different bar with a chain, maybe it's a smaller bar, other things like that. In my case, I just wanted a, a lighter power unit, so I didn't want to get just another bar and chain, but... I still might do that in the future, but I did want something that was just lighter. And the MS-171 was definitely a lot lighter, less fatigued, a lot safer, I think, in the long run to use that to delim.
Okay, Robertson, where are you from? Provo. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Provo, Utah. Utah. Okay, so that's like the heart and... What's that? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> well, All right, Williams, where are you from? Rigby, Idaho. <laughs> All right, so he's an Idaho folk. Yes. And I'm from Heber City, Utah. Okay, so I swear this always happens. It's always Utah and a little bit of Idaho. From so both. say goodbye to your mom and dad. Bye. Bye, Mom. We appreciate him helping. So if you guys need help wherever you're at, call missionaries. That's right. They're We're good those. workers. They got nothing else going on. We're always <laughs> down to help. So <laughs> he gets them out of the house. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's true. That's facts. All right, so those trees were actually pretty rough. They were uh, pretty... Uh, <laughs> pretty heavy. I didn't think they were going to be that heavy, but they were. And so it was nice to actually have those four elders show up. Um, they offered to help out this morning. They said, hey, you know, you have a ranch, some other stuff fell through. And they asked if they could come over and help us do anything. So it was very polite of them. Very nice. Actually, in looking back at it, man, that would have really bit if we had to uh, do that on our own. Second good thing was I got a new chainsaw, right? You can never diss that. So that MS-171, I think, is what I've got. I don't even know, right? But that is my little pruning guy, and it did pretty good even on those stumps, but I can tell you what, like, it doesn't have quite the power, for sure, as that farm boss does, the 271. But it's nice, it's lighter, it was easier to wield, and it's very capable. So I'm happy to have those two saws. I don't know that I'd really actually need another one. I don't know, I can't. Right. I'm sure I could always find ways to have more, but I don't think I need one. So anyway, we're going to cut it off here. We hope you have a good weekend. Hopefully have some fun with your family over this time. This is just a little bit of what we are doing today. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.